Hello, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, and today we're talking about 10 underrated weight loss foods that actually work. These may be foods you never thought of eating and these foods lead to weight loss. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I've lost almost 130 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's jump into the 10 underrated foods for weight loss. It's really hard to say that there are magical foods out there for weight loss. Eating anything won't make you automatically shed weight. However, there are some better foods out there for weight loss than others. There are much more nutritious and healthier options as well. Foods high in protein and fiber will keep you full, and those are the foods that lead to weight loss. So building your diet around a protein goal and lots and lots of fiber-filled foods is going to not only keep you full and satisfied while you're trying to lose weight, but just may lead to a little bit more weight loss on the scale. Food number Number one is going to be cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. This is something that I literally eat daily. I don't think there's a day that goes by that I don't eat cottage cheese. It's great savory, it's great sweet, add your favorite fruit. You can add, even add things like nuts and seeds, croutons, and one of my favorite savory cottage cheese is the french fried onions. You know the ones that go on green bean casserole? So good in cottage cheese for a more savory bite. You can also add cottage cheese to things like smoothies, and you can even mix it into your scrambled eggs as a cheese instead of adding in a higher fat cheese. A little, one half of a cup of cottage cheese can give you almost 20 grams of protein. So it's going to keep you full and satisfied, and it's a great dairy for weight loss. Food number two is going to be the good old chia seed. I love chia seeds, I love chia pudding. I even love to put chia seeds in my protein shakes. The great thing about chia seeds is they absorb more than 10 times their weight of water, allowing them to swell in your digestive system and keep you full. Not to mention they're a superfood full of highly nutritious qualities. They're super easy to incorporate into meals. You can even sprinkle a teaspoon or two on your favorite salad. I love to throw a little bit into my protein shake, mix it in with your favorite bowl of oatmeal. Try to incorporate chia seeds as a regular part of your diet. They're 20 calories per teaspoon and you're going to get a huge punch of omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and protein. Food number three is one of my favorite nuts and that's the pistachio. You might overlook these because let's be honest, removing them from the shell is not fun. However, buying pistachios in the shell will make you eat them a lot slower than if you buy them pre-shelled and can just pop a handful or two in your mouth. For about 100 calories, you're going to get approximately 30 pistachios. That's a lot of nuts for 100 calories. This is a plant-based protein, fiber, and healthy fat, so it's going to help keep you full. They're really easy to take with you because they don't require refrigeration. You can put them in little containers or baggies and take them with you on the go. I always have some type of nut or seed in my house and it's a go-to snack for me. Number four is another one of my go-tos and these are hard-boiled eggs. Now, if you are like me and you hate the whole hard boiling process, buy them pre-packaged. Buy them pre-boiled and pre-shelled for convenience. If it's going to make you eat them, it's worth the extra money. If you buy regular eggs with all the intentions of hard boiling them, they expire and you have to throw them away, then you would have been better off spending the little bit of extra money to buy the pre-boiled, pre-shelled eggs. They're 70 calories a piece and they are a huge punch of protein. They also contain a good amount of fat, so it's going to prevent you from making impulsive bad food choices throughout the day. There's a lot of research out there that proves that the cholesterol in eggs doesn't have the same negative effect on your health as other forms of cholesterol. So eat eggs, whether they're hard boiled, pre hard boiled, pre shelled, scrambled, over easy, eat some eggs. They're a superfood when it comes to weight loss. Number five is rolled oats. This is another food item that I love. I love a good overnight oat hot bowl of oatmeal, you can even add oats to blend it up smoothies and protein shakes. They're really truly a stellar health food. This is a healthy whole grain that contains a lot of soluble fiber and beta glucan, which actually helps manage your cholesterol and blood sugar. You can make old fashioned hot oatmeal, overnight oats, or like I said, add oats to any blended drink. You won't even know they're there, but you're going to get all the health benefits. 
minutes. Yeah. Number six is a cup of green tea, whether it's hot or iced. Green tea might be the closest thing we have to a weight loss elixir. So if it's a tea that you don't typically choose, it is time to stock up. It's full of antioxidants, healthy phytochemicals, and it's been known to slightly increase your metabolism. Fun fact, sipping tea instead of snacking can deliver the same result. It can cue your body that you've eaten something, even though you're just sipping on a cup of green tea. It'll lower your calorie intake for the day and maybe, just maybe, help you shed a few extra pounds. Make sure that you watch all the added sweeteners to your cup of green tea. So if you can drink it just plain, great, but be mindful of the sweeteners that you're adding. Number seven, one of my favorite foods, the good old avocado. Is it high in fiber and fat? Absolutely. Is it something you should eat daily? Absolutely. Think avocado toast. Avocados is a great way to incorporate healthy fats into your breakfast. It can help you feel full and again can prevent you from mindless snacking throughout the day. Number eight are walnuts. Walnuts are one of my favorite nuts. When you think nuts, almonds and peanuts may be the first thing that comes to mind, but don't sleep on the high quality walnut. They are full of polyunsaturated fats. These are the good fats for your body. They help with the hunger hormone, help with your appetite and help you shed weight. When you consume walnuts on a regular basis, you'll notice a decrease in ghrelin. This is the hunger hormone. So not only do walnuts have a lot of nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, they decrease your hunger throughout the day and give you a big punch of healthy omega-3 fatty acids for a very small amount of the nut. I love to put walnuts on yogurt, and one of my favorite things to do with nuts, besides baking, of course, is to mix them in with my oatmeal. Number nine are legumes. High fiber legumes like chickpeas and black beans should be a staple in a healthy diet. They're a great source of plant-based protein and an excellent source of fiber. All that protein and fiber will keep you nice and full. When we're full and satisfied, even in a calorie deficit or on a diet, we tend to do less mindless snacking throughout the day, which ultimately leads to more weight loss. And number 10 is non-fat plain Greek yogurt. You can use plain Greek yogurt for anything. It's a great way to make a dip, a condiment, a spread for a sandwich, and it's great to eat all by itself, loaded with your favorite granola, fruit, maybe you could add some of the heart-healthy walnuts or chia seeds to it. You can even use non-fat Greek yogurt as a sour cream substitute. You won't even know the difference. It's such a versatile product. You can cook with it, you can bake with it, you can eat it as is, and it's going to give you a huge punch of protein for very little calories. Similar to cottage cheese, this is a great high-protein dairy item. I love non-fat Greek yogurt. I make my famous yogurt bowl all the time that has non-fat Greek yogurt, fruit, and my favorite granola. So make sure you always have a container of plain non-fat Greek yogurt in your refrigerator. So those are the top 10 underrated foods for weight loss and why they're beneficial. Let me know down in the comments, did any of these surprise you or are these staple foods for you? Let me know everything down in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because again, I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to all of my favorite healthy things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.